Hey guys, Legendary Grimlock here, and today we have the final mashup of the Kaiju versus remakes. If you guys get what I mean here. And um, if you guys do see um, a Dragon's Quest missing, I'm just rewriting it right now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the wait. And well, let's really get started. This is King Ghidorah versus Destroyer, the remake and the rematch. So, um, yeah, let's really talk about Destroyer. And remember, we're using movies and comics for this one. So Destroyer is a combination of the Oxygen Destroyer and Godzilla cells, to which um, Godzilla might actually need to really take a look at how many times his cells have became pretty much evil at this point. It's... Um, it's getting old here and destroyer has gone on to be one of the more famous monsters in the kaiju community to the point where he's noted as the monster that killed godzilla and in all honesty i do think he does deserve his time in the monster race but what has he done over the years what has he you know who's he beaten up well he's beaten up angiris and actually just like brutalized him to the point where the global defense force actually had to come in with an anti- um, sorry, not an anti, an absolute zero missile and actually use that against Destroyer. Destroyer's biology works on a molecular level to the point where he can change his shape and composition into many forms. He has his flying form, his crawler form, and his miniature form. And then there's his obviously his final form where it's all of them pretty much just put together. So yeah, his biology pretty much works on a molecular level, being able to change his structure honestly at will as well as pertaining to the IDW comics here. He's used this in like a plethora of rays to like get out of attacks such as Mothra's webbing. And, and again, this actually worked somehow. However, enough attacks or a giant AOE attack from some someone as powerful as Godzilla is able to do the trick here. However, in his final form, he's actually ridiculously powerful to the point where he's able to ragdoll Godzilla, Mothra, Anguirus, and Jet Jaguar consistently with his physical strength. He also possesses other things like his micro oxygen blast, flight, obviously. He has his Energon horn, sorry, not Energon, dear Lord, his energy horn, which is able to, well, slice through monsters like Godzilla, actually leaving Godzilla to the point where he needed nuclear radiation in order to heal himself. So it might actually interfere with Godzilla's healing factor or interfere with healing factors in general on maybe a certain level here. And considering the sheer fact that he was also able to use this to severely injure Mothra, I even think taking off a piece of her wings too. So yeah, Destroyer has a lot going for him here. Now again, Destroyer does have his flaws like just with any other monster. He's been able to, well, be beaten by Godzilla. He's been able to stalemate King Ghidorah, which I guess you can't really say is too much of a flaw. He's been put down by Mothra and even restrained by Biolatte. And the only thing that seems to really work on this guy is things like um, Absolute Zero. So in all honesty, he's, um, sorry, Absolute Zero and like high levels of heat like the Red Spiral Ray or the Infinite Ray. Which again, from the highest Heisei era, if you guys look at um, Godzilla King of the Monsters video, shout out to him. Uh, the infinite spiral ray is basically a much stronger version of obviously the red spiral ray or the burning ray if you will here and that's pretty much covers it he's resistant to poisons and all that good stuff here as well he's he was able to tank mothers like poison beams he's tank godzilla's atomic breath and garris's full power rollout attack some of the strongest punches from jet jaguar you you, you, you name it, he's already taken it. So in all honesty, yeah, Destroy is an alpha class monster, pretty simply. Let's move on to his opponent, King Ghidorah. Now, King Ghidorah, whoo-wee. Do we have a long list for our golden three-headed dragon? The one who started off this entire channel. So I might be a little biased, but hey, it is what it is. So King Ghidorah, right, has been able to tank Godzilla's atomic breath, attacks from Gorosaurus, King Caesar, Manda, um, Varen, and Bar Baragon, Anguirus, Rodan, Mothra, Ikuzagami, Orochi, even was supposed to become an Orochi at one point. Crazy, ain't it? 
He's been able to disrupt blasts from Mecha Godzilla, been able to disrupt a clash between Godzilla and Space Godzilla, crush Q manga like it was nothing, like he was just straight up soda can, and just throw this guy around. He's even embarrassed um, Kiryu and one shot him with an energy blast, one shot him, one shot Mothra, apologies with an energy blast and even harm and take out or nearly take out um godzilla on multiple occasions so yeah king Ghidorah is very strong even requiring entire monster teams just to take this guy down keep in mind this includes godzilla's atomic breath goro source's kangaroo kick baragon's flames rodan's uranium beam and his sonic booms and stuff manda's magical blasts and stuff He's been sealed away and broken out. He's been molecularly disintegrated and regenerated. Actually, it's one of his biggest qualities. The sheer amount of hacks this dude has, we would be here forever. Especially if we included the um, anime version, which has like shadow killing abilities. Like he's able to like interact with you on like such a level that where he can pretty much use his shadow and or at least he can like come from another dimension, attack your shadow and just kill you like I, I don't know how anyone counters that he literally kills you through your shadow it's just like it's it, it's like one of the craziest things altogether yeah space time manipulation um his gravity beams actually destroy molecules and stuff or at least attack on a molecular level this dude has been in every godzilla movie and he seems to have a new hack or one of his old ones is just amplified, you know? And his gravity beams are one of the most consistent things about him. He's been able to use them to overpower Godzilla's atomic breath, even being able to one-shot Godzilla as of Godzilla rivals. And keep in mind, he's actually known to be one of the fastest monsters out there, up there with characters like Mothra, Batra, and has even been able to chase around Rodan for a good amount of time, meaning he's able to keep up in relative speeds with him. So in all honesty, yeah, King Ghidorah definitely cements himself as one of the most powerful, if not one of the main staples of Godzilla's franchise. I actually hope he does get added to the um, Godzilla versus Godzilla and Kong versus Justice League comic because um. That would be interesting to see how the Justice League would just <laughs> barely get through Godzilla and Kong, or maybe they don't, and then all of a sudden King Ghidorah just comes down and is like, hey, I came to make your lives an absolute nightmare. And keep in mind, they did this in the Power Rangers comic, so it's probably going to happen. King Ghidorah is obviously one of the, like, the top tiers in all of the Godzilla verses. It, it really doesn't matter. He's one of the top tier monsters. But anyway, enough rambling about where I want these monsters to be. Let's talk about this battle. Who wins between the Crimson Demon and the Golden Dragon? Who wins? Now, when it comes down to these two, there are there's a lot of variables. There's a lot of variables to consider here. Well, obviously, in some cases, they take advantages over the other. I think Destroyer is physically stronger than Ghidorah. Not by much, but again, it's by a good margin. However, when it comes to the hacks and abilities here, um, yeah, uh, Destroyer is lacking, like, a lot here. He's lacking at least 20 different movies. <laughs> and again, I'm not, you know, shaming or bashing Destroyer here, but King Ghidorah just has way more teleportation, barrier creation, life force absorption, you know, hurricane winds, magnetic abilities. He can create a dome and then use energy absorption on him the same way Destroyer can. While Destroyer does have DNA absorption, I'm not sure how his body would honestly react between Godzilla and Ghidorah cells. It just seems just a little... A little more differently, you know? And the thing is, Ghidorah also has energy absorption. So I'm not sure how that would interact with each other. However, when it comes down to their latest interactions or how they've been handled recently, I think Ghidorah does take the edge here. I think he's actually gotten a lot better over the years when dealing with Godzilla than Destroya has in the IDW comics. You see, Godzilla is still able to put up a fight against Destroyer. And in the recent Godzilla Rivals comic, well, um, 
Ghidorah was actually able to not only go toe to toe with the big guy, but um, he was able to one shot him with his gravity beams. Now I don't remember if the collar was was the what well, ah, sorry, it was specifically weakening Godzilla in any way here. But if it wasn't, and Ghidorah was still able to one shot Godzilla to the point where Godzilla actually needed to gain such a power boost. In order to kind of just try and dog walk him. I'm going to say try because physically speaking, the door was still holding his own. It was charging up another gravity beam. But then Godzilla in this red rage form or whatever just lets out this energy blast and it's it's over. Meanwhile, the same type of energy blast have been known to also eviscerate Destroyer. However, Destroy, even in that run, I think it was the Cataclysm run, was still, you know, taking out Godzilla with multiple strikes here. Meanwhile, you have King Ghidorah, even in the Godzilla vs. Power Rangers run, just straight up manhandling and dog walking Godzilla, despite the fact that he had help. And again, Ghidorah has been a consistent team buster in the Godzilla franchise for years here. So in all honesty, if I really had to give someone the winner based off the hacks and abilities, the encounters they had with Godzilla, and the sheer fact that he's able to fight against multiple monsters and have very little difficulty, if not mid-difficulty, struggling with them until they really get their act together and they start actually doing very well for themselves. And with him also being able to fight much higher beings in the form of Mothras, like Leo Mothra and, you know, Fairy Mothra, even a regular Mothra himself, plus having pretty much just as good regenerative factors and some ways to counter even destroy his molecular um, regeneration or his molecular manipulation. Like he could probably put the dome around destroy it when he tries to form small and then sap the life energy out of destroy it until he decides to turn into his bigger form but by that time Ghidorah would have probably gained a lot more strength by then his gravity beams and anti-gravity beams could definitely give destroy some significant trouble and he's no slouch in course Kodos combat it, he's he, he's never been here even being able to fight monsters like king caesar gorosaurus baragon and others who are just as skilled if not more skilled than destroyer here. even godzilla himself here so in all honesty i would give it a king Ghidorah. again i would probably say mid to high difficulty as the fight progresses here maybe high to mid to maybe high to mid difficulty once king Ghidorah really starts bringing out his hacks but hey that's gonna be all today you guys please comment down below like and subscribe and share with your friends this is legendary grimlock and i hope you guys have a blessed day peace